My name is Carl Griffiths Fulton. I'm originally from Carrickfergus in Northern Ireland and I now live in Waterloo and I teach part-time at the University of Waterloo and I run my own photography and design business. Uh, I started quite young. I was 14 when I saw my first picture uh, and Belfast was you know, 10 miles from my house so the conflict there attracted me uh, initially to go in. Uh, so I'd go and just hang out in the streets, photograph whatever was going on. And that launched an interest in the photojournalism and documentary photography in particular. And from there it built, I would do stories on people I met uh, uh, or situations that were occurring over a, a short period of time. And so I cut my teeth in the streets of Belfast and then there was a very good art school with an excellent photography professor at the time in Belfast. So I did a degree, or I did my first fine arts course in Belfast. I initially went to draw and paint and then discovered I wasn't very good at it. And uh, photography, I'd always been using photography to support drawings and paintings. Uh, but I've never seen photography as not part of fine arts, uh, whether it's journalism or not, because you know, the composition, your storytelling for me. Uh, dealing with issues that I was dealing with in my drawings and so it was just it was a medium that I found very comfortable with to, to get my voice heard. Uh, it's all very abstract uh, it's film based and it's the theme is one that I've been working on right through my journalism days a sense of belonging to place and why we think we belong to a certain place and why we'll die and kill for that so this new body of work, uh, it started when I moved to Canada and it didn't, I didn't deliberately go down that route. Um, the abstract expression as painters have, has been one area that I'm fascinated with. So, uh, but I saw the painting and the photography very separate and it was while experimenting with film and with photographic film and I worked with a film unit in London in England and started playing around with their equipment as well and mixing it with photography mm -hmm. and these you know quite abstract images were coming out so it was a technical thing that got me in the direction of how my art looks today. Uh, there's quite a variety. Uh, the black and white work that will be shown is it's just they're straight photographs but I draw with a camera so I leave it on a long exposure and I use the camera like I use my pencil to sketch around things so I'm looking through the viewfinder mm -hmm and just tracing around and sketching. And, uh, so it's usually quite subdued lighting to get those long exposures. And, and it's just trial and error. And then you find a formula that works. And, uh, and it, like any experimentation, you know, it eventually becomes a method that you can control and then you can speak through.